another Killer Planes video. Down and Dirty. Tips and tricks for keeping your plane out of the shop. Starring Steve's Dirty Hands. Today, get some eyes in the sky. All right, so here's the canopy we're gonna be doing it on. This is a Dynam F6F, and we have the types of cameras that we sell, one of which is this HD camera, and this is a regular SD, they call it, camera 640 by 480. This is like the size of a pack of gum, and ordinarily would sit right about here, pointing out that away. there's the lens. This one wants to sit right about here, also pointing out that away. We might want to have it back here so we would need to cut off the top of the seat in order to get back that far. We want to figure out how we're going to get it in here in the first place. We have two ways of doing it. One is that we separate the canopy right here and make this back part openable. The other way is through the bottom, which is we're going to show you in this video. You need a couple of plastic plates. These are pieces of Formica strips. You need a rod. This is a 2.5 millimeter rod and I've marked it F6F cam so it doesn't get chucked. And of course you need the camera you're going to use and some toothpicks. Let's say we want to take out, oh, somewhere near the most of the bottom of the thing because the camera is, you know, that big. It's got to be a hole that's big enough to fit the camera up through the bottom, right? So we'll go here and I'm notice I'm going out on an angle. And the hatch wants to have angled sides on it, at least two angled sides, so that when we put it back in here, those angled sides will hold it in place. We'll show you how. We're using a nice, sharp hobby knife. Right? I stick it through at an angle, and I use a sawing motion, like so. Now, I want to leave enough space on the bottom here for one of these things. You'll see why later. This is going to hold the rod that holds the whole thing in. So I can see that that's somewhere around here on the inside. So I'm just going to cut straight through. Check that out. Yep, got plenty of space. And there we are. Okay, so this is in the hole now. This is where it's going to go. And we need two pieces of plastic to hold our rod in. And it's going to be grooved in and the two pieces of plastic will be glued down on the outside so you'll slip it in from the end and that rod is held on by the plastic and will hold your hatch in. What we need to do is make a groove here for the rod. The way that we make grooves is a torch and a hot rod. Baby. So this is a rod made of metal wire. I put it in a dowel so that I don't get a hot rod in my hand. Beautiful. And now I make a groove right straight through from the back to the front. Okay, so glue the back plate on. Squish it down nice. Glue the front plate on. All right, so now when I take my hatch, I put it in and I insert my rod it's going to hold my hatch in place. So now I just have to make a mount on the hatch that holds the camera where it's supposed to go. So when I want to get my camera in and out, I'm going to go like so. I'm going to put a, a tab on this side of the hatch made of foam so that I can pull the hatch out when it's in the hole. All right, so now I've made a stalk out of a block of foam that's going to be glued onto the hatch and it goes right up against my seat there like that. And this camera is going to be at the top of the stalk. And you cut the top so that the camera is aimed up or down the direction that you want it to be aimed. And I'm hoping that this camera wants to be aimed straight ahead like that. To hold it on, we're just going to do a pressure fit made out of blocks of foam. So I've made a couple of little blocks here that I'm going to glue on the sides of the stalk like so that stick up past the top of where the camera is and then we're going to groove out the foam in these blocks to hold the camera when we push it on. The camera is wider than this stalk is by a little bit on each side. Right? We want to make sure this fits and it does. 
It's going to go in here like so. When it mounts in, and it will simply mount up from the bottom with the camera on it. And there we are. All right, the last step is a piece of nylon fabric. So I'm going to glue a piece over across the top of this, and there it is. This is ready to go. So now we put some hot glue on the base, press it down. We have our camera in our mount that's inside the canopy the way it's going to go. So there it is, another tip and trick from Steve's hands at Killer Planes, and see you on the flight line. Thank you.